Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be fixing on my BMW E36 Compact, the 316 Drift Beater, Winter Beater, Drift Missile, call it whatever you want. I have brought with me some new wheels uh, and a new front bumper I actually bought. I bought it for like 15 euros, dirt cheap. And uh, yeah, I will, I'm very curious to see how it actually looks on this car because this has an original front bumper right now. It's missing a few lists and stuff like that. So it's not looking too good. I don't care about how good the car looks to be honest, but I think this bumper looks kind of cool. It's not an M3 original bumper, it's a Riger. And usually I hate Riger or Rigid. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I think it looks kind of cool. I'm, I have not painted it yet. I will like spray paint it with a box or something, just real quick, but not today. Today I will just test, test fit and see if it actually works. And I will fix some uh, like kidneys. I will get some kidneys on the car. I will get some like kidney grills on the car and mount the new wheels. And uh, also we will try to actually see how much this car weighs. In the registration papers, it says it weighs 1,175 kilos, but I'm actually going to get it on a scale today and see if that is correct. Or maybe it's lighter, maybe it's heavier, I don't know. Maybe it has so much rust that it is actually lighter because it's lost some of the metal. Who knows? Or aluminium, I don't know. Anyways, let us have a good day together and get all these parts on the car pretty soon. So, let's go. Okay, we dumped all of the stuff in the car, so now it's not so much car, it's only the board door panel right here, which is supposed to be right here, so I mean that is, we need to be included in the weight. So here we have the scale, let's drive on it and I will get out and let's see how much this car weighs. Oh, yeah, okay, it's on the scale and the scale says, one ton or 1,180 kilos. So that's five kilos wrong from what it says in uh, the registration. But anyways, I think it's not that much. So now we know it weighs 1,180 kilos. And I mean, compared to my M3 and my 325 Cabriolet, both of those cars weighs over 1,500 kilograms. So, yeah, I think that this is actually not that bad. That this weighs only 1,180. I mean, that's 300, 350 kilograms lighter than the other cars. So, no reason why this car is so much fun. So, yeah. I don't know if I am going to strip it like down and make it like a real drift missile. Maybe I will. I haven't decided yet. It would be kind of fun to see how much weight I could shave off this car but then again I am maybe going to use this as my daily this winter so I don't know I don't know to be honest it would be kind of cool to put in like bucket seats hydro e-brake and just make it full winter beater or like so I can drive it on the tracks in the winter time and maybe also drive it on the track on in the summer again maybe with a bigger engine but I don't know but uh, yeah okay now we know it is weighing 1180 so we'll keep that in mind in later episodes if I do take a lot of stuff out and remove some weights. Now it's time to mount the new wheels and also see if that bumper fits. Okay, I had the idea that when it's first, I mean, it rains in Mexico, it never rains in Mexico. So I thought that doing a burnout was a good idea now, but I don't know if you could tell on the footage, but it, in from in here, it feels like seriously all of the rear suspension drivetrain is going to just fall off. So yeah, no good, no good at all. And the clutch is terrible as well, but maybe we can try one more time. But even though it's wet, this car doesn't like standstill burnouts. <laughs> we can try one more just for fun. 
I don't know if you guys heard it, but yeah, it feels like the whole drive train is just falling off. No good. Okay, now I got that like bash guard, well, not bash guard, but like the protective metal that goes underneath here. I got that on and tightened it and I just <laughs> mounted this, drilled some holes right here and now we'll take a screw in here with a nut on the back side and then make this sit real tight. And I will also just zip tie it right here for safety. So, yep, I <laughs> don't know if I like this kind of look or not, but it's a beater, so I don't care so much, but I think it's kind of cool with a like extra lip right there and I, it's like another lip right there instead of like regular M bumper, it's like straight, but this goes down and then another lip underneath again. So yeah, looks kind of cool, very strange and very different, but actually not that bad of a fitment actually. So okay, when I will zip tie it, it will be even better. really bad with the same color hair because this is not real lists it's fake I mean this is the original from the original bumper like this is some detachable and it says like this but yeah no good <laughs> this is all glass fiber 
really bad quality but it's in its place zip ties are on and it's looking decent it's kind of cool i think with some paint it will actually look very cool let's fix the kidneys okay i have these those are not in the best condition these are actually from my crashed e36 323 so yeah not in the best condition but i think they work i don't actually get it because you see it's yeah they don't fit this one is not in very good condition either but whatever i'm gonna make this work because it will look a lot better than nothing done for today and the car looks uh, yeah it looks mint it looks perfect no it's not perfect the reason it's not perfect is because this needs to be painted so this needs uh, yeah this needs some black paint so I am going to buy some black paint and get that on I will just paint everything because like I said these lists are not removable or detachable so yeah I will just paint everything black and hopefully that will look cool and I think it's kind of cool with all that lip as well and yeah I will mount some new coilovers on my 325 soon and then I will take the coilovers from my 325 on this so this will actually get lower because now it's not very low so it's it's stuck or I, actually there was some kind of Bielstein, Bielstein um, dampers or something uh, or springs on this right now actually so that was kind of cool but yeah it looks a lot better with the aggressive uh, offset in the back with the rondelle 16 inch and Alsev in the front with like medium offset it's ET30 and here it's like ET20 or 15 or something so it looks very very cool and I added this sticker as well I mean, why not? Kind of fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, need to do something about the back hair as well. Uh, maybe mount a spoiler. I don't know. I want something cool on this one. But yeah, it's looking a lot better than it did before. I really like this now that I have my own wheels on and yeah, I kind of made it my own. I also put like sparkle right here. I just changed the gear knob as well right here and uh, i removed everything right here so it feels kind of more i don't know raw kind of cool and uh yeah still a welded diff so it drifts very good and uh now it's starting to look more like i don't know my car my now i'm getting like my my kind of styling on it not that this is my kind of styling but i like that when i buy cars i don't don't use them like the way i bought them i want to do modifications to it myself so yeah I have still not fixed the starter motor yet, so any, at any moment it could be that I need to push start the car, I don't know that, but I'm taking my chances. I have bought the new starter motor, it's right here actually, but I have not mounted it yet, so I need to do that so I can know that this car starts safely every time, because it's kind of a nerve-wracking thing to know that it may not start at some point. And the overheating issue uh, in the 
previous video I made with this car, I did uh, the car did overheat, but at that point I did fill it with water and that made it not overheat anymore. So I, it was simply uh, the problem was simply that I did not have enough coolant or water in the system, and that was it. So now I do, and everything is good again. And I did break the the bleeding nut also, but um, I just bought a new one and. Uh, I had to drill out the old one, so that kind of sucked. But I got a new one, and so everything seems good, and it's actually really good on temperature again, as you see right here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we will see each other in the next one. Goodbye.